Hey and welcome to my channel where I experiment with different materials and techniques. In this video we will be making a habitat base for a taxidermy fox. If you haven't seen the fox taxidermy video yet, check out that as well. But today we will be creating a rocky and mossy terrain from foam and spackle and maybe these techniques are useful for some other dioramas or prop work as well. For the fox I wanted to have a cherry colored wooden base and then have some subtle habitat elements on top of that. I looked around for the wood bases and they were quite expensive if I wanted to order them ready made. I also couldn't find a shape or size that I would have liked so I ordered this oval wood board from Amazon and decided to make my own. I started with marking down and drilling holes for the metal rods to go through. Obviously a good idea to do this on a carpet. The fox was actually still going through a drying process at this point, so I wanted to have a rough idea of how the habitat would look like, so that I could set the paws in specific positions. I cut pieces out of some insulation foam and played with the arrangement a bit and left the fox to dry. Once the fox was dry enough, I took the wooden board and sanded down some of the rough areas it had. Then I used some mineral spirits to wipe off any sawdust before I brushed on the wood stain. I used varathane wood stain in black cherry. The instructions say to let the stain sit a while and then wipe it off with a cloth, but I didn't like the way it looked so I added another layer and did not wipe it off this time. I didn't really care too much about the streakiness or not having the wood texture showing through because we were planning on covering this with the foam anyway. Once the stain was dry I coated it with a spray on varnish. I did three coats in total, letting the layers cure properly in between. Once the wood was safe to work with, I started gluing the foam pieces to it using a hot glue gun. I stuffed the crevices with tiny bits of foam and carved out any bigger pieces to make them look more organic. It helps to use a reference anytime you're replicating something. Next I would spread some spackling paste on the foam. This is to create a more rock-like finish and prime the surface for painting. Depending on what kind of a rock you're trying to create, you might want to go and smooth out some of those markings that were left by the spatula. The next day the spackle was mostly dry, so I decided to proceed with the painting. First I mixed up different shades of grey and brown acrylic paint with water and divided them to spray bottles, but my bottles were too big and I wasn't able to get the right opacity or consistency for my paints, so I then decided to abandon this technique and use an airbrush instead. 
I would mostly use grey, but here and there I would splash some other colours like green, yellow and orange for undertones. I would use the darkest shades in the crevices and the lightest colours as the highlights. I would then go over the rocks to scratch off some of the paint to make it look like weathering. I would then remove the masking tape that I used to protect the wood and clean up the edges. I would remove the protective wrap around the fox's feet to see if there were any areas that would have needed paint and for those areas as well as the feet themselves I would use the airbrush. I could have stopped here, but I wanted to add some small rocks from my yard, as well as some moss. I attached some small rocks with some super glue, although I had to use a lot more of it than usual because the foam was absorbing it. Then I used some Mod Podge on areas where I wanted to attach moss. I'm using preserved moss from Michaels, although there are some really cool artificial moss fibers out there that I would absolutely like to try one day. I'm basically taking all the dust that is at the bottom of the bag and spreading it on the glue. I would then use a hair dryer to get rid of the loose material and once the glue was dry enough I would go and use a small wire brush to lift some of the moss up so it didn't look so flat. Once everything was completely dry, I would clean up the wood once again and spray everything once more with the varnish. I then finished up with adding some foam pads under the board as the wires and the bolts from the fox's feet created some bulk under the base and I had to balance it out. And 
And there you have it. I hope this video was helpful and if so, please leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more crafting videos, I highly suggest subscribing or check out the Fox Taxiderm video next and then make up your mind after that. Also, if you have any recommendations for what I should try next, leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and happy crafting!